this would be a good one to share. So Apra gets another high level player. Um, he's actually playing a very similar team to one I posted about a couple, like in the last patch that I thought would be good once the changes were made this patch. Um, and I think Viper also posted a team pretty much the same as what this guy is running. But I think my team, the way I build this team is better. I beat this match up 100% of the time and I've been beating everything else as well. But essentially they're the same. It's the Umbra being ridiculous at the moment. We'll see how he plays the Umbra, but I'll show you how ridiculous this can get. And I, and I tend to think it's probably broken at the moment. And I think it's probably more broken than the Scoriox was last patch. So I start off with the three ball walk, three water, and I'm just going to place my jewel of down in either corner. We're not too worried because we're going to get an indomitable on him anyway. And we do tend to drop the first couple of rounds just because our opener is quite weak. So round three, three ball walk, three water, they're all very cheap. And then we'll go the jewel of, and we actually attach it for steam and harbinger. Harbinger, yeah. So this gives, well, what we're mainly using this for is when the, the, the unit dies, they give the highest omega alluvial, 100 omega. And we're going to have three of these, our Ranger and the Axodon and the Axon. So they'll be giving our Umbra 100 Omega each when they die. I'm just going to put my Umbra down in the middle here. I've got this really good Legendary Augment, but I'm not going to use it right now. I'll just show you how we play this normally. And I'm going to put the Indomitable down on the Jewelif. So we're going the 4.5 second Indomitable down on the Jewelif, and then later we'll play the 6 second one on the Umbra. The biggest ri risk to this team is just losing in four rounds. And you could probably theorize a better opening than what I've done. I haven't quite mastered the first couple of rounds. I could probably maybe lose less health. I don't know, maybe if I play the Umbra early. Um, as opposed to the Jewelif. But they're all refinements we can make later. Alright, so we're going to put our Highbringers down now. So we do want them to die kind of early. Put the one down for now because I need to start getting Omnivamp on my Umbra and I am going to give him the six second Indomitable. So we've got 20% Omnivamp, we'll get another 15% and then we're actually going to play every time he Omegas he's going to... where is it? Every time he Omegas he's going to get physical attack damage equal to 40% of that energy cost. So every time he Omegas he'll get a bunch of um, attack damage He's getting Omega from Steam, as well as Energy Regen. And then Harbinger is also going to give him 100 extra Omega each time one of them dies. So you'll see his damage will be absolutely insane come the late game. Um, like later in the rounds. And he'll be healing basically to 100% every time he Omegas. And then we've got the Indomitable, just in case anything crazy happens. Get down Slayer. Get a bit more Omnivamp, and we're both, yeah, we're both playing the same Augment. He'll probably put Indomitable, we'll see what he puts down, maybe he'll put down Indomitable. I'm actually going to reduce your energy gain here. Put this last Axon down in a moment, or at a moment, in the uh, the coming rounds. I just think these Augments are a bit more important right now. So he's done the same thing. So this is essentially the meta right now. It just depends how you build your team around it. Um, I will link this team in the description, the team builder, so you can import it. Save yourself some time. But if you appreciate that, make sure to like and subscribe. I just dodged that stun. We should be good. We, we won't die this round. We might even win this. So you might think one counter to this would be the suppressors. Using the suppressors to reduce energy healing. Uh, sorry, not energy healing. Just healing. Flat, in, flat healing. But I prefer to play the energy in uh, reduce energy in this matchup because I played the reduce healing once and it didn't matter he was still healing basically to full HP even with all this suppressed to healing um, where it comes down to is who's casting first essentially um, so the energy suppression is going to be a lot better but, I mean that is something to experiment with maybe if you're playing against this team experiment with the lesser healing maybe you have a way um, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it gets to the point where the healing, you can stop the Umbra healing so much. And I was too slow explaining everything, I really needed, I could have put extra energy down here. 
but if I win this round with 55 mastery points in the bank, we well, need definitely know this. The way I'm building this is much stronger. So he got an extra ball walk here, so he's managed to get five ball walk via the augment, which is a little bit scary. Can my jewel lift trigger? Okay, we got his indomitable. Sweet. I don't know what happened there, but <laughs> have to slow that one down. I'm going to go reduce attack speed here, and I'm actually going to give him Indomitable. On crit, he's going to get some physical attack. Okay, we've established we are definitely winning this, so what I'm going to do is place that there. This. So on Vanquish, my Jewel of is going to give my two nearest allies in Von and a hundred energy and quite often he's dying right at the end there so hopefully he'll give it to my umbra we'll see how that mechanic works and i've just slowing the jewel of attack speed here maybe i could have done energy reduction but so my jewel of gave invon he gave that buff to my Gyra, I think. It'd be nice if I could trigger the Indomitable early. I should be able to get this Omega off first. So I've still got mine. Yeah, nice. I'm actually going to put my axe on here for the Reduced attack speed here. Alright, there's not much more I could do there. Changing positions is uh, not that appropriate with my Umbra, but here I've reduced his attack speed here and I've given myself invulnerability. So potentially this will allow me to trigger his Indomitable far earlier. It looks like he's mostly healing up. We get one more Omega off. So just died, gave myself invulnerability, nice. So we've still got that attack speed slow on him. I'm gonna have energy reduction here, and I'm gonna give him indomitable. So he should tank that whole beam, that initial beam. And I'm going to put my Ranger here, and I'll just get a little bit more damage here. Again, I don't think I need to change anything else. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping this here with the Ranger, maybe I could trigger his Indomitable a bit earlier if he doesn't switch positions. Because I was getting close to triggering it. Maybe my Ranger can get a stun off. Meanwhile, I'm killing his Jeweler over here, which is not... Yeah, I've got Indomitable off. I mean, that's just... That's game right there. He's um Yeah, completely screwed over his Umbra. If we look at the damage chart, I mean we already know what it's gonna look like. Alright, there you have it guys. So there's obviously that's a good showcase of the two different ways you could build that that Umbra team. The one Insomnia using he he may have copied Viper, but I think the way I'm building it is a bit more versatile and, and maybe other players are playing it differently and they can actually beat this mirror matchup like the way I'm playing it. But so far I think this build is just a little bit better. There is another way people play it is take my team for example. You go instead of the three water ball walk that I brought, you bring Aegis. So you'll bring the Blotto with Wildfire Aegis and I believe your Ranger is also Aegis. Aegis Steam, and you bring another Heartbringer, I think, but either way, your your Aegis, your two Aegis Alluvials will be buffing up the Umbra with um, resistances, and then the, the Blotto is pretty good just for blind, because he throws out a blind with his Omega, so that can screw up the enemy team, and then you also put in the Blazonite right at the end, and that'll give you Wildfire plus the Blazonite to shoot off stuns, so that's another way people are playing it, so Umbra, Aegis, Wildfire, so there you go, there's three different ways to play it, I'll link the deck down below 
to the way I build this team and you can see the way Insomnia has built his and then you've got that Wildfire Aegis build as well um, but they all revolve around Umbra and making him unkillable. The Umbra right now is probably far more unbalanced than the Scoriox was last patch but in saying that this is early days and last patch we saw the meta change pretty much on the daily so there's probably something out here out there that counters this Umbra team um, but I'm looking forward to see, but I can't think of anything at the moment. Maybe some kind of healing suppression. Maybe an invoker. Invoker with heal suppression. I don't know. Um, but if you enjoyed that, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.